Hey friends, welcome to my Facebook Live. Today is a special edition in honor of the new catalog launch. I am going live every day this week through Thursday to share new product with you. Um, so today is Tuesday, May 3rd. It's not my regular Facebook Live day, but I'll be going live every day this week. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 4 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, so be sure to plan to join me. Today I'm going to be sharing a new hostess set. This is called Sit, Stay, Relax. And it's super cute. has these little dogs and cats, or dog and cats, um, sitting on the furniture waiting for their owner to come home. So we're going to make a couple cards with this. Um, first, a couple housekeeping things. If you're joining, say hi. Let me know where you're joining from. I do have a hostess code open right now. This is my website. This is the hostess code that's open. It will be open for two weeks. Um, spend $35 or more. You'll get my monthly card kit um, in the mail for free. Spend $50 or more, you'll get the kit. Um, you'll get the embellishment that goes along with the kit, and you'll also get my monthly tutorial bundle for free. And this will be emailed out to you. Um, all right. So, um, I was going to share something about this. Oh, my monthly online card class is going to be next Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, and I'm going to be showcasing the Bottled Happiness stamp set, okay? So the cards will be interchangeable. You don't have to have this stamp set to participate, um, but if you want to make the cards exactly like mine, you will need it. Um, it will be recorded, so if you can't join live, you can catch it on my YouTube channel. And then I also wanted to share that anyone that places an order this week during my special launch, that I will um, also give you a package of these rustic metallic dots. Okay, so um, so use, use this hostess code, place an order by Sunday, and you'll get a package of these rustic metallic dots. You'll get my monthly card kit in the mail that features four different cards um, that, where we'll be using this Bottled of Happiness stamp set. And if you spend $50 or more, you'll get another embellishment that we'll be using on the um, Bottle of Happiness cards, and then you'll get my tutorial bundle for free. So let me just say, if you spend $50 this week using this hostess code, um, you're going to get a bunch of goodies in the mail. So, um, okay. So now that we have all that out of the way, um, I'm going to go ahead. I did want to share that this month Stampin' Up! is offering a starter kit promotion. And it's an awesome one. So, normally the starter kit is $99. You get to choose $125 worth of product for free. There's free shipping. You do pay tax. Um, and that $125, you get to pick out anything you want. Okay. Um, for this month, if you sign up before the end of May, you'll also get some of the new in-color products. So this is great if, if you're really loving the new in-colors, but they're kind of out of your budget. Um, part of what you'll get in your kit is the ink pads, the cardstock, and the designer series paper, along with some in-color grid paper. And this is a $66 value. So that's on top of your $125, all for $99. So if you're interested, um, I will post my link. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Okay. All right, so let's start creating. So we are going to be using the Sit, Stay, Relax. Okay. And um, our first card, I'm going to be using lots of new product today. Let me figure out what I'm doing here. Okay. So I am going to be using these rustic metallic dots. And this is our first card that we're going to be making. Okay, it uses some of the new in color, some new dyes, and this stamp set. Okay. Um, so 
for this one, we are going to use the little kitty on the chair. And I decided to use um, the Starry Sky with this card along with the Early Espresso. Okay, you may not think that these go together, um, but I'm going to show you how they do. So, alrighty. Um, okay, so to start on this card, we are going to start with the crumb. A crumb cake base and then I made a layer of the starry sky using one of our new embossing folders this is the dots and spots so I've already scored it and you'll see I'm pulling it out and then it puts all these little dots in the paper okay so that's going to be part of our card. And I am also using another stamp set that is called Fabulous Frames. Okay. And this one, I die cut one of the frames out of some real red cardstock. Okay. And I went ahead and did it in advance. So this little piece comes out of the center of here. It cuts the frame and this little piece in the center. And we're going to save this. We're actually going to use it on our next card. Okay. And then um, in this frames, in the frames dies, we also have these little di this little die here. And so that's what I'm going to stamp my sentiment on. And so this is what all of the frames look like. And I think these are going to be a lot of fun to make layers with. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Okay. So, oh, I need the words. Um... So on my original card, I did Missing You. Um, I think on this one, um, I'll just do Hi Friend. So we'll do this one here. Okay. And then I just cut a piece of white cardstock that would fit in the center of this frame. Okay, I just measured it and cut a piece of white cardstock. So that's what we're gonna stamp our main image on using our early espresso. And I'm just gonna stamp that right in the center. Like so. And then on the little tag, I'm going to use my Starry Sky. And we're going to stamp Hi Friend on that. Just right in the center. And then we're ready to build our card. So let's hold our base. And then I'm going to layer this piece on because it has all these holes. Um, you want to be mindful about what adhesive you use, um, making sure that it doesn't bleed through those little holes. Um, so if you use the seal, it might go through kind of, so I'm just using a little Tombow liquid glue, like so, and just using a little so it doesn't squish out when I press this down. Okay. Um, 
right. And since I'm already using this glue, I'm going to use some on here. And I'm going to put my main image down in the center. And then I'm going to layer my frame on top. And the sides are pretty, pretty delicate, so I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid glue. And then layer that over that rectangle, like so. And then with our little tag, we can just take some dimensionals. And then I'm just going to place it right down here. Like so. Make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to use these little rustic metallic dots to put, so it does have little holes where you could put some brads if you wanted. Um, but I like playing with new things, so I am going to put some of these little rustic brads right there. And there you have it. Quick and easy cue card featuring um, one of our new hostess sets, the Sit, Stay, and Relax. Okay. So I'm going to show you one more card. Um, so the next one we're going to do is make this one here. It's a little dog on the chair, and it says, just sitting here thinking of you. These are super cute stamps um, that lend themselves to be used in just one ink color. Um, so that's kind of nice. You can color them if you want, but you don't have to. So this is that piece from the frame here, the centerpiece. And so that we're going to go ahead and use it on this card. That's what we're going to use as our border. So what I did was I just cut a piece of basic white cardstock that was just slightly smaller than that. Okay. And for our base, we are using the new Parakeet Party. Okay. And then um, on this card, I use this, this designer series paper, and this is the designer series paper that I featured on my live yesterday. Um, it's called the Sun Prints. So this one here, um, they have the, in this, it had some striped which coordinated perfectly with the little chair. Um, but today I'm going to do something different. So today I'm going to be pulling from our package of our In Color Designer Series paper. Now, if you do decide to get the starter kit, you'll get a whole package of this for free, which is an awesome deal. Um, and then you'll see there's all kinds of different prints on here. Um, so we could use um, any color we wanted. I think I might go with the dots just because the dog is going to be on stripes. It has flowers, all kinds of things. So. Alright, so we're going to cut this to size for our card. And it's just a quarter inch shorter than your card base. So it's going to be four by five and a quarter. Okay. So then we'll layer that on there like so. Okay. And then I die cut one of these little 
um, banners, and this is actually coming from another new die set, which is called Stylus Shapes, which I know this is going to be a super popular one. Um, it may go on back order, um, so you might want to. This might you might want to get this one first. It's got the banners, squares, circles, and it's it's not stitching. It's actually little dots on there. So. Okay, and that's what we're going to stamp our sentiment on. Um, okay, so let's get stamping. So we're going to do the little dog with the striped chair. And for this one, um, let's see, if you're not sure if a, if a um, piece will fit, you can always put it over the words, and that will help you figure out um, if it's going to fit on your little tag. I'm going to do the wish you were here one. Okay. And then again, we're using our starry sky. Ah. And I did die cut too just in case I messed up. So let's do that again. Okay. And then we'll stamp our little puppy on the chair. Clean that off. Okay, and then we're ready to put this together. And so on this card, I am using some of this Parakeet Party metallic ribbon. Um, I showed the starry sky yesterday. Um, and I'm going to tie a bow. Okay. So let's put our designer series paper down first. Okay, and then I'm going to tie my bow. Um, I'm going to make sure this ribbon is flat because it does have a flat side to it. And with this ribbon, I do like to just tie a knot before I'm going to tie my bow. It can be a little difficult to work with. Um, and it's not real bulky, so if you tie a knot first, it's, it's going to make it easier for you to tie a bow. So if you're one of those people that always wish you could tie a knot before you tie your bow, but it would look to, um, it'd make like a big old bump right here, this might be good ribbon for you. Um, because you can do that and not make it look, um, it'll still look good. Okay, so do that, and then I'm going to put this on here. So this is a super simple card. Um, if you're a new stamper and you don't have any supplies, this would be a card that you could totally make um, just by getting the starter kit. Um, you'd have to get... Um, You'd have to get the host to set on a, on a second order or choose a stamp set um, that's similar um, in size. But um, you could use the Sweet Sorbet instead of the Real Red here. 
um, and then you would have everything that you need because it's the the in color kit that comes with the starter kit also comes with a package of the cardstock so you would have that for bases and then for this one I'm just gonna put it down here just like so so here's this card two different ways and then this card So I hope you enjoyed seeing this new Hostess set. Again, it's the Sit, Stay, Relax. It's a Hostess exclusive, which means um, you either need to host an online or in-person party, or you need to place an order of $150 or more. Um, and then you can choose it as one of your Hostess items, okay? So again, if you um, don't forget, um, I mentioned, and you can look on my Facebook page, um, information about the In Color Starter Kit that's good for the month of May. And if you're interested in ordering, if you order this week, um, in addition to my already awesome gifts, you'll get a full package of the new Rustic Metallic Dots. So I hope you had a good day, and please plan to join me tomorrow Wednesday, May 4th at 4 p.m. Mountain Time again. Thanks, guys. Bye.